Thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. I know this is uh, a different year with the um, SAG. It's not called SAG anymore. It's uh, SAGE, right? Yeah, that's what it is, yeah. Uh, with a big phys ed thing going on. So we've got a little bit uh, different numbers here. But uh, this is kind of the hardcore group, which is always, uh, which is always great here. Um, I'm, I can do this every, every week, no question. Right? We, we could sit down and invite all of you in my basement right? and have a beer and talk. And uh, I always say it's, uh, for me, just talking the game, how we teach the game, how we break things down, how we, uh, how we coach kids, complaining about refs, that's a big part of it too, right? Uh, that, I mean, the more we can do that as a, as a group, the better. And I think generally we've, we've done less of that over the years. I was talking to somebody upstairs and I mentioned that I wouldn't it be great if we did more of that, right? We, I mean, I, I could sit down with all, I, I could probably come to this clinic and hear all of you speak, right? And, and take things down and find things. And uh, that's, I mean, that's probably not entirely true. I mean, let's be honest, most of you guys might be kind of boring, right? So some of you guys might be crappy and some of you guys would be great. But uh, see, you're laughing because you think you wouldn't be one of the crappy ones, right? So, uh, but. I'm hoping I can be better at least than, uh, than some people. I hope, I'm hoping I can be, I give you some kind of information here and uh, we can get through some stuff. I'm going to talk about zones a little bit. Um, well, before I do, I'm going to move on to something here. Uh, there's some stuff I put upstairs that is of, I, think, I think is of interest to you guys. Uh, this summer we're running a uh, Bison Summer Coaching Institute Faculty Kinesiology at the University of Manitoba where we run some courses. I'm actually the teacher. They are university credit courses. They count towards your post back degree. Okay? So for all the teachers out there, which I think today there should be lots of you, um, you can get six credit hours of your 30 credit hours post back in two weeks in July. So you know how you slave through it at nighttime for a whole semester, you do three credits at a time and it's a pain in the butt? Right? And it takes you five years to do. Well, you can get six credit hours of it done sitting down with me for two weeks with a bunch of other coaches, and we're going to talk coaching basically all day for two weeks in July. And you can get a good chunk of your post back done. So uh, have a look at it. Uh, I think it's a pretty good program. It's something we'd like to do to try to increase coach education, bring the group together, and be honest with you, as many basketball people as I can get in the room, it's going to be more fun for me to do. So it's open to all sports, but it's uh, obviously it's better for me if it's basketball people. Um, now, we're going to do some team offensive stuff here. Um, you guys ready to go? Awesome. Good. Like a couple of Daniel's enthusiastic. That's good. He's fired up. He's ready to go. Um, a big part of this is we're going to talk a little bit more conceptual here. I can give you guys, you know, 50 different plays to run, but my hope is that we can help our athletes to understand how to play better. And I'll throw something at you. One of the things that I started doing this year, and I picked it up uh, last, whatever it is, four summers or so, I've done some stuff with the national team. And uh, the, last, the last summer, I think it's mainly because now they've added Steve Nash and Jay Triano, they've got all this money now, um, that the staff was incredible. We had junior national team training camp, we had, I think, 20 staff there. We had managers staffing everything. We had, a, we had a group of managers that had a giant whiteboard and had everyone's photo on it, and they statted during practice on a whiteboard for the players to see everything from shots, assists, deflections, how many times you gave someone a high five, they stat it. They stat how you talk, they stat how you rotate. They stat everything. But one thing that was kind of cool that we statted the whole 10 days I was there and I now stat with my team, which is interesting. It has to do with team offense here. It was some pretty cool stats. They statted paint touches. Now we stat paint touches and ball reversals now. So paint touches, I throw the ball to someone who's in the paint or I drive the ball into the paint. Okay, or I've caught the ball in the paint, which is the same as the first one, just the other end of it. Right? So we statted that. So over the, and we statted in everything. In all of our four and fours, and all of our five on fives, every scrimmage, every game we played, junior national, we statted it the whole week. Then we summarized it at the end of the week. And it was, it was unbelievably telling the stats. 
So on possessions where we did not get a paint touch, you know, you pass it away and it gets reversed, whatever. So guy comes, takes two dribbles, shoots a pull-up jump shot. We as a team scored about 27% of the time. Okay? Now, on possessions that we got a paint touch, where the ball got in. Now, it might have gone in and come out. That's fine. But it did get in at some point. We scored 50% of the time. On possessions where we got two paint touches, where it came in, it came out, it went back in again, and it may have even gone back out again. You know what our percentage was scoring for the entire week? Want to take a guess? 100. We scored every single time. So I grabbed this off our board because we stat this, and my manager scribbles it all down and whatever, and we stick it on our team room board. So this is our uh, this is a practice last week. So we also stat how many sides the ball gets to. So if we just pass the ball to the wing, that's one side. If we pass the ball to the wing and comes to the other side, that's two sides. If we pass it and it gets reversed and gets rid someone drives it and skips it across, that's three sides. And we set we stat sides and paint touches. So this is our stats last week. When the ball didn't touch the paint and it only got to one side, we scored 22% of the time. When it touched the paint, we scored 54. When it got to two sides but no paint touch, we scored 57% of the time. When we touched the paint on those two sides, we scored 61. When we got to three and four sides of the floor, we scored 100% of the time. Good numbers. I pound this into our players' heads every day, every day, every day, every day. And sometimes we'll stop it. You know that time in practice where I always love it when players, they hit a couple of shots and they hit open shots that are within offense and, and they, hit, they hit shots that are good team shots and they make a couple. And the next time down, because they made a couple, they think in their head, I'm hot. Right? So now, all right, now they shoot that one, right? But coach, I was on fire though. No, no, no. You were on fire because you shot a bunch of shots that were wide open off ball movement and other players got you a great look. That's why you were on fire. You weren't on fire shooting that garbage. Now you're no longer on fire. I always like to ask the question, why do players shoot shots? There's lots of reasons. Sometimes they shoot shots. And you guys can think about this a second, right? Why do you shoot any shot you shoot? Hopefully it's because most of the time you guys think, I can make that one. But sometimes, and if you're honest with yourself, sometimes you shoot because I haven't touched it in a while. Sometimes you shoot because the guy who I'm guarding scored last possession and I want to get him back. Really? Sometimes you do. And I, get, I guarantee you, everyone in the gym has done that. I guarantee you, all these guys up there have done that. This guy scored on me, now I'm going to try to score. Right? Sometimes... I'm hot. I just made a shot, so I have to shoot the next time I touch it. Right? So I think the challenge in any team offense is, and I think this is one of the hardest things to teach is, what's a good shot? What's a good shot not just for you, what's a good shot for us? And we stat it. We stat all of our shooting. Coach uh, Dave Taylor talked about how he gives the green light to guys transition threes, and you're worried about some people shooting and some people not. A lot of times we'll just stat it. We stat all of our, our shooting in practice. You don't have to sign up. And it's like, so let's say we, we want to shoot transition threes. We want our good shooters in, tra excuse me, in transition when they're open to shoot transition threes. But if in practice you can only make 30% of your threes, you're not allowed to shoot transition threes. So let's say in practice you're a 70% three-point shooter and you're a 30% three-point shooter. And I say, to, I say, he can shoot it and you can't. That's fair, isn't it? I guess, he says. Great answer. Because that's what players think. I guess. It's not because I don't like you. It's not because I'm treating you unfairly. I'm treating you differently because you are different. Right? 
Daniel, we don't run you in the post for a reason. Because you never played there before. But maybe you're good in the post. I don't know. You know, you got a good, good post game? I don't know. Yeah? Okay. Anyways, moving along. Let's get, uh, I need five on five, please. Dif darks and lights or whatever, please. Five on five darks and lights. Good. Get rid of that. I'm going to lose track of time. Someone's going to wave at me when I... Oh, it's right here. Look at this. That's big time, Adam. Is the horn going to go? <coughs> Is it like a... guy's going to count down the shot clock or what? Um, I don't know what to do with my notes, but that's okay. I'll figure it out. Okay. Give me... Uh, can I get the dark team, please? You guys ever played zone before? Everyone has, everyone has played zone defense before at some point? Perfect, good. Give me two guys up top, please. Two, three. Mason, you want to go in the middle? Zach, you're wide. A little Zimbakov. Out here, perfect. Good, awesome. Now, it's interesting to see where they go here. So these guys are ready to play. These are not bad. Now hold on, stop. Emmanuel, why did you go where you went? Is there any reason? Yeah, there's no wrong answer here. Why did you go where you went? Because no one filled the spot. So the spot needed to be filled, great. But what I'm saying to you is, like, is there any reason why you went here instead of, say, here? Or, I mean, you could have went down here to space the floor. But this is spaced. I'm not saying you're wrong. I just want to know if there's any reason. Good, okay? So then, that's okay. It's a great. That's what we wanted to teach him. The number one concept we want to do against any zone is go where they're not. Make two people play you. And again, I'm not a big fan of teaching these kids an offense. I want them to know how to play. So that when they leave my team, which is my biggest pet peeve in the world, is all you guys, see if I can pick out someone who probably played a lot of, how many, team, how many teams do you play on? In the, all year, how many teams do you play on? Four teams Daniel played on, okay? Which I think is probably about average for guys really into basketball. I think you might see as many as five or six. You might go as low as three. Probably not as low as three if they're really into it, right? So Daniel plays. Now, do they all run the same offense? They don't all run. Do they all run the same out of bounds plays? Do they all run the same defenses? So you're telling me, Daniel, every time you go to a different team, you have to learn all that stuff, right? Hmm. It's amazing, isn't it? So the question is, when do they have time to actually work on skills? So my belief is, let's teach them how to play, right? Not plays. Now again, I'll give you a couple quick hitters at the end and stuff, but let's teach them how to play. Good. Rule number one is, in the zone, offense, make two people play you or draw a triangle where you are one of the points between two defenders. You got a good triangle there? Where's your triangle? Good. See, to me... You're not in a triangle. To me, he's got you right away. See how you're farther away from him? Go right there. Awesome. That's a triangle. That's a triangle. You got Emmanuel. You look good. What about you? You got a couple places. You can kind of come in the middle here and draw lots of triangles. Okay? Or you can do what Wyatt's doing, which is come real low here and draw this triangle. We got it? Good. Why do we do this? We do this because you're trying to distort the zone. You're trying to get them to go in places where they're not kind of supposed to go. So right away, okay, if we have the greatest shooter in the world here, we have to play him. One of you guys has to play him, right? Go ahead, you guys decide. One of you guys got to guard him. Great. Now, right away, is one side of the zone you think weaker than the other? Why do you think left side? So you got a gap there. That's a pretty good answer. So he thinks he, he's thinking from a driver's perspective. So I can go there. I'm thinking in terms of a passer. Just in terms of how are they guarding. So right now, we have two guys on the midline and one player on this side of the floor. And we have two players in the midline and two guys on this side of the floor. So that's a weaker side of the zone. Like right now, we have two on one. Right now, if I give it to you and Zach has to play him, you give it to Wyatt, right? That's two on one. We know that, okay? And that's an important concept to teach kids. So if I can I have the ball back, please? Let me take your spot, okay? So I'm point guard. I'm coming down the floor right now. You guys start to match up to me. Good. 
Right now I realize, yeah, right side's weak here. Right side is weak. Right side is weak. Good. And we can start to play. Does that make sense? Right? Go here. Can I get one of you guys go to the high post, please? Perfect. Oh, this is interesting. So I can see that right away. Good. Maybe you guys want to change this now. You come out on guard me. You go back. Good. Hey, Wyatt, 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 go to that side. He's weak. Good. Boom. Pretty simple. Pretty simple little concept that do you ever teach kids to recognize, to look at the whole defense and to see what we're playing, right? Look at the whole defense, see what they're playing. So let's move the ball. All I want you guys to do is to move the ball really quick, okay? Don't move your bodies at all. Other than, let's do this. Other than that, actually, why you just stay here. I want Wyatt, which I used to call back in high school, I don't anymore. We used to call this the Gretzky, right? We don't call it anymore because you guys hardly know who Wayne Gretzky is, let's be honest, right? Okay, bam. Which is my butt to the baseline so I can see the court. This doesn't help me to play like this. This helps me to play like this. Now I can play and make passes, right? All I want you guys to do is pass the ball around. Okay, no shot yet. Wyatt, I want you to come from here to here. Butt to the baseline. Butt to the baseline. All I want you to do is, okay, look for the ball here or step in here. Step out, ball gets on this side, step in here. That's it. That's it. Nothing else right now, okay? Ready? Go. Move it around. Move it around. <coughs> Good. Keep going. 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 Good. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Keep going. Good. Stop. Back on top now. Good. Now, I want you to move the ball around, but, but, you're allowed to shoot now. You're allowed to shoot, except one of these guys has to touch the ball before you get a shot. Do we understand? So this guy or this guy needs to touch the ball. You guys don't have to be the ones that shoot it but you have to touch it, okay? You can catch it and put it back out. You can catch it and shoot it. Your choice, okay? Let's do that. Go ahead. Let them do it. I'm not giving them the whole thing. I'm showing them some structure, and I'm introducing a concept, spoon-feeding it a little bit at a time. Keep going, guys. Go again. Go again. Go again. Good. Good. Go again. Go again. Go again. Here we go. Work hard, D. Make it tough on them. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Good. That's nice. Yes. Great look. Great look. Great look. Go again. These guys are going to hate this, but I think I'm going to leave one team on offense the whole time. And they can learn. <coughs> Good. Now, hold. Freeze. 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 Come back out. Now, let's add one more thing. Okay? You two guys, whenever you get it, okay? Whenever you get it, so you guys are partners, okay? So whenever your partner gets it, I want you to try to go what we call halo yourself. Go to the rim. Okay, go to the rim. Halo means like, right? Maybe not quite that for you, but certainly cut towards the charge circle. Okay? Cut towards the charge circle. Good. So if he gets it, you cut towards the charge circle, right? If he gets it, you cut towards the charge circle. And your first look is always to your partner. So anytime you catch it, look at your partner, throw it out. Okay? If Wyatt catches it, Give Wyatt the ball, look at your partner, throw it out. Okay? Try that. Try that. Try that. Pass it. Good. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? That's a good skip. Look at your partner. Good. Throw it out. Play again. Play again. Play again. Keep an extra ball handy. It's a big time program. We got more than one ball. Here we go. <coughs> look at your partner, throw it out. Good. Start again, start again, start again, start again. Here we go. Look at your partner. We go. Look at your partner. Good. Throw it out. Excellent. Good. 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 Now, 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 now. Let's make this simple now. Let's make this simple. Who's the best shooter on the white team? Who's the best shooter, guys? You are? Good. Sub. Manual, you're out. Nobody wants to shoot the ball. I want to sub it. Manual, you're out. Kylik is in. 
He put his hand up, said, I'm the best shooter. Great. Don't you want your shooters to be that? Think. Do you want your shooters to go, uh, 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 I'm not sure I can make it, coach. If you missed eight in a row, I want you to be like, yeah, I got this next one, coach. I'm burying this one. This is all me. I got it. Right? Perfect. Good. Now, Wyatt, go to that side of the floor. What? Perfect. The way we do this, white team, who's your best player? Who thinks you're the best player? You think you're the best player? Awesome. Good. You go down there. Why come up top? Wow. These guys lack confidence, eh? I'm the best guy, coach. Come on now. Good. Now, simple, simple concept. This was my zone offense when I coached high school. This is all we did. Put our best shooter here, our best player there. That's it. Someone who can make a layup there, preferably a bigger guy. Okay? That's it. And all we did every time was this. Okay? Pass. Hold it a second. Good. Pass. Pass. Now stop. Now you got a choice. Zimbakov, you're going to guard the best shooter or not? You're not going to guard him? Great. Drill the three, Kyle. Drill the three. Ooh. Subs. Get him off. <laughs> Here we go. All right. We'll try this again. Good choice, by the way. Right? Push it. Here. Good. Take me. Good. Swing it. Good. Excellent. Now stop. Freeze. Now. Because they guarded you, they're worried about you. You might be the best shooter. Look, because he played in the gap, two people went to him. Great. This is ideal. Give it to him. Bam. Start at the high post. Your look is there. So you have two choices. You have two choices. Give it to this guy driving down the lane. Or, so Zach, you got a choice. You're going to play him for the layup? You're not? He's going to do a layup. Right? You're going to play him? Let me do that. Okay? Guys, just try that. Just try that. Wyatt's got the ball. This is a, couldn't be any simpler, right? Then we're going to play some concepts to teach him how to play a little bit. Good. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay on the side of the best shooter. Good. Ah, stop. 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 What are we trying to do, Wyatt? Give it to him. Go back. Emmanuel. Inside or shoot it. That's your choice, Emmanuel. If you're open, shoot it. If not, go the other way. Go the other way, Wyatt. Go the other way. Make the defense move. Go again. Go again. Go again. Go again. Catch it. Swing it quick. Swing it quick. Good. There he is. What's your look? That's nice. Now we're flying around. Great job. Okay? Simple. Now, give me just four guys on the court, please. Yeah, I have four guys. Four there, there, and one down low, Mason. You're cut. Good. Excellent. Give me four here. Good, 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 good. Now, play here. Play in the corner. Manual, play there. Play in the corner. Now, play in the corner. Play in the corner. Play. No, no, sorry. You in the corner. Perfect. Okay, now, let's take, let's go a step back. Teach them how to play a little bit. So I want you guys, don't match up. I want you to play a zone like this. So one guy's at the point. Perfect. Two guys are there. Come here, come here, come here. Mason, play underneath. Good. So Mason, your job is, anyone goes to the corner, you, you have to go to the corner if the ball goes there, right? Right? You can play high here. Bother him, you might have a choice, but you might take a manual, or Daniel might take a manual, right? You might take here, or Daniel might take there. You guys can play it, right? Let's start farther out. This is what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to try to make two people play you and then pass it, okay? Make two people play you, then pass it, no shot. Ready, go. Good. Now they're not doing everything right right now, but that's okay, move the ball. You can't make two people pass you, throw it. Good, make two people play you. Stop, 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 stop. I gotta demonstrate this then, good. So that, what you did, was not making people play you. Come, come off a second, good. Daniel was over there. So you went like this. That's making one guy play me, right? I want to do this. I want two people to play me. Do you understand? So where are you going to do to make two people play you? Yes. You're going to catch it and you're going to attack right in here. Make two people play you. So what I want you guys to do is this. Maybe I'll see if you can do the next step. I'm worried this might not work with you guys yet. Good. 
You guys work hard in the zone, move whatever you can, guard people, right? Here's the rule. Make two people play you, pass twice. So drive and draw, pass, pass, then hold it. Okay? You ready? You going to start with the manual? Got it? Here we go. Drive it. Pass, pass. Stop. No, don't dribble. Drive, pass, pass. You guys can also move a little bit if he drives. Ready? Go. Drive, pass, pass. Hold it. Freeze. Hold that one one second. I want you to count to one. Hold it. Ready? Now you got to do the same thing. Drive, pass, pass. Go. Drive, pass, pass. Hold it. Drive, pass, pass. Drive, pass, pass. Go the other way with it. Drive, pass, good. Pass. Find a spot, Emmanuel. Find a spot. Good. Now stop. Now, keep in mind, I'm not, this I think is a really key thing that I think coaches make a big error on. I could tell them all this stuff at the same time and they're going to screw it up. My philosophy is I'm going to tell them one thing and that's all they're going to do. And once they kind of get it, then we'll add something. So I just told them to draw two guys first. Then I told them to drive two guys and pass, pass. Right? Now I'm going to tell you guys to do this. Drive, draw two guys, pass, pass. Whoever gets that second pass, hold it. Maybe two seconds now. Everyone else... Reset yourself, show that you're in a gap, maybe one of those triangles, right? Let's try it once, okay? Drive it any way you want. Pass, pass, hold it, stop. Everyone set? Good, drive in that direction. Pass, pass, hold it, wait, stop, where are you? Now, Wyatt, where are you? you no, you're not in a triangle, are you? So you got two choices, you can go here, that doesn't seem to make sense, you're too close to this guy, right? So how about you go the other way? What if you went this way? Where's your triangle? Ah, we're kind of moving around a little bit. Got it? Drive, pass, pass. Make people play you. Drive, pass, pass. Hold it. You got your spots? Where's your triangle? Where's your triangle? Where's your triangle, Wyatt? Pass, move over. Good, go again. Drive, pass, pass. Good, where's your triangle? Fine, guys. Ready? You can go on the baseline if you want. You can go where you want. Ready? Drive. Pass. Pass. Where's your triangle? Good. Ready? Drive. Pass. Pass. Good. Keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. Good. We understand the concept here. So we're trying to have them develop a rhythm of how do we want to play. Because the number one thing that's going to kill your offense, especially in zone, is guys that do this. Can I take your spot for a second? Right? Is guys that do this. Or well, this one here. This will go in too. You guys ever play with a guy like that? Yes, you all have. And they've all coached a guy like that. And that's what keeps me awake at night, guys like that. Right? It really, really does. It keeps me awake at night. Good. Okay? So again, we're teaching some general kind of concepts. Okay? Drive, pass, pass. Now, work on this all day. Work on this every day. Drive, pass, pass. Now, maybe add three passes. Try to make three passes. Go drive, pass, pass, pass. Drive, pass, pass, pass. Ready? Go. Drive it. Pass it. Pass it. Good. Pass it. Hold it there. We're all set. See how much the defense moves now, guys? See how much you guys got to move now? Try again. Go again. Any way you want. Drive. Pass. Pass. Good. Pass. Great job. Try it again. Good. Go. Drive. Pass. Pass. Good. Pass. Excellent. Good. So we're learning how to play a little bit. We're learning how to play a little bit. Good. Now, give me... Everybody off and give me, we'll just keep our two white guys around. They happen to be two white guys, but they're also wearing white jerseys. <laughs> Works both ways, eh? Whatever. Perfect. Okay? Now, let's teach our guys inside how to play. And this can be anybody. I remember when I was coaching a provincial team and um, played this really big team from Calgary. They're a club team. We're having a lot of trouble with them, and they kind of played this odd front zone. And, and we didn't have a great offensive team inside. 
We didn't have a lot of guys who had much skill. And we were really struggling, and we finally just decided, well, they're kind of giving us the high post, and we have no one there who's that good, so why don't we put our best player there and see what happens? It just so happened our best player was a 5'9 guard, a kid named Alden Smalling. Right? Some of you guys might remember him, right? Played, I don't know, how old is Alden? 12 years ago graduated, maybe? I don't know. Right? Now, a 5'9 guard here, you think, well, that's where I want to put my post guy. It shredded them. <coughs> Excuse me. Absolutely shredded them. Right? Because he caught it here. Big guy came up and played him. Mean, he was just blowing around them and playing. Put your best player in the high post or the short corner and make that your focal point. Okay? Good. Now, can I get uh, a couple people come and pass? Two, one guy here on the wing. Anybody? Anybody? One other guy here up top. Another guy here up top. Perfect. Good. And I'll be here. And I'll be here. Good. One of you guys high. One of you guys short corner. <coughs> Good. A great job, by the way. Butt to the baseline. Show. Excellent. Good. Now, what I want you guys to do is getting used to how to move. Getting used to how to move. No shot right now. Okay? So, remember the rule. If I give it to your buddy, what do you do? Wyatt looks for the ball here. Anytime you get it high post, I want you to look at your butt. Actually, both of you guys. Look at your buddy and look opposite from where you got it from. You understand that? Look to your partner. Look opposite. So you'd always look to Wyatt and look to get it out. Okay? Let's try just that. I won't need you right now, Daniel, but that's okay. Good. Bam. Look to your buddy. Look opposite. Good. Bring it to him here. Give, go again. Look a high post. Good. Look to your buddy. Look opposite. Good. Look to your buddy. Look opposite. Good. Freeze there. Again, I'm not telling them everything at once. I'm telling them one thing. I'm spoon feeding them a little bit. Let's give it to the short corner now. So we go short corner. You go to the hoop and look opposite. Either me, I'm going to be over there, or Daniel. I can skip across. But here's the thing. When you do that, when you do that because you're already you're continuing the same direction you were going, you become the short corner and you become the high post. Let's look at that. Okay? So, ball goes inside. Dive, Wyatt. Look opposite. Good. Flash high. Player. Good. Dive, dive, dive. Look opposite. Got it. Good. Play. Good. See if they can do this. What are you doing? Ah, that's it. And go through and keep going. Oh, I didn't give him a rep. Stop. When the ball goes high post, hold it there, hold it there. Why? What do you do? Go through. You become the short corner. Excellent. When the ball goes short corner, you dive, skip it. Wyatt, you become the high post. Good. We've changed jobs. Ah, what do you do, Wyatt? What do you do, Wyatt? Cut. Look opposite. Good. Flash high post. Excellent. Good job. Cut. Look opposite. Flash high post. Good. Here we go. Cut across. Look opposite. Good. Excellent. Now, if I do this, same kind of things can happen. Okay? The only thing I add is if the ball gets reversed is, I just tell the guys to stay the same. So if the ball gets reversed, there's only to do, Wyatt, come short corner. You just stay high post and you go to the other short corner. Okay? Try that part. Good. Try that. Good. Good. Give it to him. Oh, they make, make it tough on him. Just reverse the ball, Daniel. You're going to confuse them. They're not that smart, right? Here we go. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good. Play. Reverse it. Good. Play. Good. Ah, what do you do? Dive. Look opposite. Good. Flash high. Excellent. Good. Just don't pass it to the manual. They're not very good. Okay? Here. Pass. Pass. Good. You guys move. Stop. 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 We reversed it. You go. Perfect. Go again. Reverse it. Nah, don't give it to them. They're not very good. Reverse it. Good. Pass here. Reverse it. Good. Pass here. You guys got that one? Now what do you do on this one? Dive. Look opposite. Look opposite. Flash high post. Good. Play. Dive. Look opposite. Flash high post. Good. Duck him in. Look opposite. Stay where you are. Good. Excellent. We've got it. We're figuring this out. We're figuring this out. Good. Give me three players, please, in dark jerseys. Guard them now. Three in dark jerseys. You guys are the bottom of a 2-3 zone. So we have a wing on the 2-3 zone. We've got a middle on the 2-3 zone. We've got a wing on the 2-3 zone. Okay? We got a bottom. We got a middle. We got a wing. Okay? So you don't need to. The only rule I'll say is you're not allowed to shoot that hypo shot. You can't shoot that shot. 
for right now. Try to get a score now against these guys. You guys have to guard me and Emmanuel now. You have to guard me and Emmanuel. Offense, you're doing the same thing we just did. We got it? Ready? Okay, go. Awesome. Great job. Go again. Go again. Go again. Go again. Go again. Go again. Take that away. We got it? Who's our short corner? Who's our short corner? We've got it. Reverse it. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. That's good. Reverse it. Good. Good. Look high. Excellent. Nice. Now we're figuring this out. Let's go again. Get another rep. Get another rep. Play here. Play here. Play here. Good. 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 That's it. Good. Look at him. Yes. Good. Go again. Go again. Quick. 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 Good. 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 That's it. Not there. Well, look opposite. Look opposite. Good. Excellent. Good. Good job, gentlemen. Give him a hand. That's well done. Good. Okay. So we're teaching them a concept a little bit at a time. That went really fast, by the way. We drilled that repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. What we didn't start to drill there was details. How to seal a man in the spot. How do I duck in? How do I turn when I get at high post? Right? We have players on our team that do this all the time. Sorry, my thing was moved. Where they catch it here and they do this. Instead of catching here and doing this. Right? Things like that. So we start to work at that. We'd add to that drill, by the way, one coach defender at the high post. Why? I just have that coach defender slap at the ball and bother this guy. Because he has to learn when he catches it here to chin the ball like that. If they stand like this, right, someone's going to knock it away. I just have someone hack at their arms, right, make those passes tougher. Things like that. Okay? Good. Now, put the whole thing together. Let's go back to five on five. Let's talk about drive, pass, pass. Let's talk about getting inside, high, low. Actually, let's do it. Let's go five. Same guys. Whites on O. Whites on O. Same guys. Sorry, you got to play defense the whole time. I like that. I like that. Okay? You guys can play now and try to do all the same things we just did. So perimeter guys, here's what you're trying to do. We need a new rule this year. We need a ball. Brand new FIBA rule. We need a basketball. Here we go. Okay? All right. Perimeter guys, you're trying to do what? Move the ball. You're trying to get a touch inside. And then attack with the dribble. In that order. Move it. Get a touch inside. Attack with the dribble. Those are your order of operations. Ready? Go ahead. Let them play. Let them play. Good. Move it. Quick. Don't hold it. Move it. Good. See if you can get a touch. There's our dive. Look, skip. Move it. Move it. Look to penetrate now. Drive and pass. Good. Drive. Good. Pass. Pass. Drive it, Emmanuel. Drive it. Drive it. Good. Stop. Go again. Go again. Go again. Now, we started to get too passive. So a great possession against a good team, against a bad team, we just throw it to Emmanuel and you score, right? We're not practicing to play the crappy teams. You know, Emmanuel, you've played teams like that, right? When you were at, um, where were you last year? Valley Gardens. Valley Gardens, I knew that. Jeez. He's at Valley Gardens last year. So he played teams where you just go and do a layup, right? Whenever you want. Well, we're not practicing to beat that team. Right? We're practicing to beat the Miami Heat. Okay? So an ideal possession should look like this. Pass it, pass it, pass it. Get an inside touch. Get an inside touch. Look at your buddy. Look opposite. Look opposite. Now, wait, stop. Now we get into draw two. Draw two guys. Drive it. Pass, pass. Good. And watch the defense break down then. You guys play one more possession. And think that way. Think that way now a little bit. Okay? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get an inside touch. Get an inside touch. Good. Look there. Look, skip it. Look to drive it. Draw. Pass. Good. Pass. One more. One more. One more. One more. Good. Hey, well done. Well done. Well done. Good, good, good. So go, go ahead, guys. Sit down. That's awesome. That's good for now, okay? So we're trying to get, again, I don't want them to, we're not running a real structure here, but I'm trying to get them to learn some concepts. Right? I'm trying to get them to learn what they're trying to do against the zone. We want to, the ball to change sides, right? My manager tells me when we get one side 22, two sides 57, four sides 100. Let's do that, okay? We want paint touches. 
I'm told when we get zero paint touches, we get 22%. When we get paint touches, we go up to 60, we go up to 70, we go up to 100. That's what that tells me. So what am I trying to do on offense? Change sides of the floor. Get a paint touch. Okay? Attack with the dribble, pass, pass. Okay? That's going to go for anything we do now. Anything we do. Okay? Awesome. Let's do this. Same guys come out on the floor. Same guys on offense. So now, I'll give you some plays. I'll give you some things. That now, the next concept is screening the zone. Okay? Screening the zone. I'll give you one that's a little higher end. It's a little bit more... You can do it. It's a little bit more higher end, though. Good? That I've sort of ran with a fair bit of success here, right? Good. Can I get one here? Wyatt, go there. Good. Come here. Perfect. Emmanuel, come there. So we got two guys in a stack here. Come, Emmanuel, right there. Low. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Again, one of the things I'm a big believer in is, especially I remember when I would read about zone offenses and like a study of the game like crazy, you always say, well, overload the zone, right? And yes, that makes a lot of sense, overloading the zone. But most of the ones I saw, the ball would get passed to the wing, then they would run cutters into the overload. Well, good zones bump and switch and match up. I'm a big believer in overload the other side and then bring the ball to the overload. Can you know what I mean by that? So instead of having a ball pass to one wing and then run a cut to the corner, run a cut to the wing, run a cut to the post, because the defense will adjust to that as guys cut. You got to put four people on that side of the floor, put the ball over there, and then bring the ball to the people. So then the defense has time to adjust. Okay? So, one play we've done. So there are 2-3 zone. Good. What I want you to do is at the same time, this is great here. Come on. Come on. Over. Come on. Over. Hey, what side is the weak side of the zone right now? What side is the weak side? What side has the least amount of defenders? Right, yeah. Sorry. Perfect. Right. Excellent. Poor. As coach, you do it all the time. I'm asking the wrong question. What side is the weak side of the zone? I don't know. Coach, what are you talking about? What side is the least number of defenders? Oh, it's the right side. Right? Anyways, come there. So we want to tell these guys to run to this side. So just simply raise your hand up. But I want you to stay in the middle. Because as soon as you stay in the middle, Mason doesn't really, Mason, you don't know which side to play on right now, do you? But if he dribbled over here, yes, Mason knows what side to play on. And so do you. Right? So let's stay in the middle. Let's stay in the middle. Good. And what I want you to do is this. Again, we'll see if they can get this a little bit of a higher end look, is you cut high to receive the ball. Just wait. Not yet. At the same time, Emmanuel, you cut to the corner at the same time. Good. Now, Wyatt, as soon as Emmanuel steps on the same boards as you, right? So as soon as he passes you, I want you to screen Mason and you cut there. And we're going to give it to him. Okay, let's back up. Back up. When the ball goes to you, we freeze. Okay, let's try that. Give the ball back to him. Everyone go rewind. Rewind the play. Rewind the play. Ready? Go. Screen, 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 screen. Come, 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 come. Good. Ah, oh, stop. Now, we, got, we always got a smart guy, right? So you always got players like this. I've got three of my that says, oh, the coach wants him to do that? Okay, I'm going to totally take that away. Well, the next read is to throw directly to the corner if they do that. Let's just allow the first pass so they can teach the first thing. Okay, and then we'll go. Here we go, play. Pass, good, stop, good. So, Manuel, you're going to get that three, aren't you? You're going to have that shot every time. But your choice is this. I do a manual or I do inside. Do it again. I want to give it to you and just freeze there. Try it again. Give it to you and freeze. So this is our looks. You'll get that corner three the first five times you run the play. 99 times out of 100. Okay? Go. Stop. Stop. Freeze. Good. So that's your choices. Your choices are Emmanuel and Wyatt. You want to seal him really hard. And you want to come here. I don't like to run plays to get guys the ball post. Why would we want them to do a post move? Why don't we run a play so they get it right here? You can sit right on Wyatt's back. 
like that. So you're going to come here and get it right there so you can catch it and do a layup. Okay? Try that. Try that. Try that. Okay? Here we go. <coughs> Good. That's our look. Excellent. Again, anyone can get an open three against the zone. Can we get a layup? Can we get a layup? Good. Okay. Do it. Give the ball to Emmanuel now. And then freeze. Okay? Ready? Go. Give it to Emmanuel. Now stop. Excellent. Now, Emmanuel, you can give it to him. You can shoot the three. Your choice. I want your job to be this. As soon as you pass it to whoever you pass it to, it could be there, it could be there, it could even be there. Right? What I want you to do is run through the free throw line. Like this. And I want you to run to the sideline. Good. Give him the ball. Come with me, come with me, shadow me, shadow me, shadow me. Good. Not so high, because we want you to make sure you get it. Not so low, I mean. Reverse the ball. Good. Hang on. Stop. Wyatt, you screened, and you came out here. You were here. Excellent. Now, Emmanuel, as soon as you let go of the ball, you run all the way to that corner. Wyatt, seal the zone. Stop. No. Just post up as hard as you can. Good. And you cut into here. Okay? Try to go right to the end, and again, you've got a choice to make. Right? You got a manual, you got somebody inside. You got it? Okay? Here we go. Try that right to the end. Try that right to the end. What's my time here? Nine minutes. Here we go. <coughs> Swing it. Cut through. Cut through. Cut through. Good. Pass it. Come, manual. Come, manual. Seal there. Seal there. Good. Excellent. Great look. Way to knock it down. Make me look good, Emmanuel. Good job. Do it again, please. Do it again, please. Do it again, please. Good. Okay. We're getting multiple looks off the same action. Right? Try it one more time. Now, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. I like to put players where they're good. Right? So if we're doing this smartly, Emmanuel would be our best shooter. This guy is a guy, like second, the first guy is the guy who we think can make a good pass and make a good decision because he's got to make two choices in the play, right? And you're our best finisher inside. All you got to do is screen and hit people. You're the big gronk goon, right? And you're the football player we just dragged off because we didn't have a big guy. You go do this. You hit people, right? Okay, here we go. Cut. Good. That's it. We're through. Good. Flash high post. Flash high post. Yes! Yes! Well done. Well done. Ah, man, you'll make it make me look good, man. Come on. Like you did the first time. Good. Any questions about that? Again, that's a little bit... No? Good. Okay, I'm moving along. Want another one? I don't know, I got ten more. Okay. Moving along. Let's do this, because I haven't done this lots. Let's change up our zone. Good. Mason, come high, go wide, you go on the baseline. Good. So now we're 1-3-1. One, one. Now, offense, based on what I've been teaching you guys, right? Remember the first thing we taught you? I want you to go somewhere on the floor you think is going to be good. Go somewhere on the floor. Remember, put a triangle between you and two people. Put a triangle between you and two people. There's two guys that are not in a triangle right now. Now there's three. Emmanuel just moved. Emmanuel, make a triangle. But do you, how, what do you, you're uncomfortable with that. Why? You seem like you're uncomfortable with that spot. It's okay if you are. No, maybe not. Maybe you like that spot. You just had a three there. I would, you would like it. Right? Good. You're in a good spot. You're in a good spot. You don't have a triangle, right? You're just matched up with him. So move. Move, 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 move. Triangle. See? You're not in a triangle. You're matched up with him. Yes. Bring the ball over here. Good. This isn't bad. This could work. This could work. Emmanuel, I don't really like where you are. Good. I like where you are. I don't like that you guys are so close together. So the only other thing that I would say is, an exception to this is, let's put somebody in the high post at least to start. At least to start. Let's put someone there. I know you don't have a great triangle. You kind of do with these guys. Okay? You guys understand that? Now, see if you guys can play. You guys don't know how to play this defense, do you? Good. Your job is to go corner to corner. You guard, you guard the hoop and anyone in the corner. All right? Your job is, your job is to play between the ball 
and the corner of the court. So you can be here, or if he had the ball, give the ball there, give the ball there, you'd be here, right? The ball and the corner. Make sense? Got it? Your job is protect the paint. Daniel, your job is just disrupt things. Okay? We got it? Move the ball. Move the ball. See if you guys can do it. Try not to throw it in the other team's hands, and we're good. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Good. Ah, good. Start again. Start again. Start again. This is great because the first time you play 1 3 1 all year, this is exactly what we'll keep playing, guys. This is exactly what will happen. They go, wait a minute, coach. They're not really guarding me, and I'm throwing into people's hands. That's exactly what happens. So we have to teach them how to play a little bit out of it, right? We've got to teach them how to play a little bit. Let them just let them do it first. Rather than me talk and bore them to death, let them figure it out for a couple of minutes and then add something to it, right? Then I've been watching what's playing happening here, but people are screaming, so. Here we go, come. Good dribble. Good, here we go, here we go, go again. We'll turn the ball over, it's a good look, it's the right idea. Good, now, offense, offense. Oh, great idea, guys. You guys are doing the same things I taught you, right? Same things, great. Everyone else, dribble, pass, pass. Dribble, pass, pass, try it again. Here we go, make two play you, pass. Good, pass, good, here we go. Make two play you, foul. Go again, go again, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Good. Ah, great job. Great job. Great job. Give it up. Dribble. Good. Attack, attack, attack. Pass. Pass. Oh, keep it moving. Good. Now you see how he held onto the ball and didn't have it. Good. Come up top now. Good. Let's make screening a problem now. Emmanuel, since you made that shot, I'm going to trust that you're going to make this shot again, right? Keep our two guys high. Perfect. So now we know, we know, right? This guy's job is to run corner to corner, right? Perfect. You guys just stay here and put him in jail. Emmanuel, you try to find an open shot along the baseline. You're going to run on the corner. You guys try to get Emmanuel the ball on the baseline. We got it? Ready? Emmanuel, stay low, stay low, stay low. Ready? Go. Good. Put him in jail. Good. Go again. Go again. Go again. Here we go. Go again. Daniel must have giant hands. Good shot. Good shot. Go again. Go again. Go again. Is this the shot I want every time? No, it's not. But let's let him figure it out first. Let him do it a couple times, and then we're going to add something. Then we're going to add something. Good. Yes. That's it. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. 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 Woo! Great skip. Great skip. Nice look. Well done. Ball up top again. Ball up top again. Now, what's happening, guys, is you, if, we, if we had video, we could show them this. You start to do this, and what happens? You guys start to cheat it, don't you? You start to spread out a little bit. Okay? So now, do the same things. First goal is spread the zone out, right? Let's do this a couple times. Just back and forth. Just back and forth. Good. Excellent. We got it? Now... Make two guys play you. But you guys are really low here. So I can do this. Right? I have that look or that look if I want it. Okay? You guys are the same thing. Put him in jail. Emmanuel, you run. Move the ball around. You ready? Here we go. Go ahead. Minute 44. My time's ticking down. My time's ticking. Here we go. That's good. That's good. Good. Move it. Move it. Ah, great look! Yes! Ah! Good job. Good job. Well done. Well done. Well done. Guys, come off the court. Come off the court. Good. Well done. Give him the hand, please. <clears throat> so now, obviously, that's going to take a lot of time, right? But my hope is that by doing it that way, that Daniel it was, right? You said you played for four teams, right? So hopefully... I didn't just, so let's say like that, that double stack play I put in, right? Let's say that was our whole zone offense. That was it. That's all we did. Chances are none of Daniel's other three teams run that play. 
So it was sort of like, okay, that was good for three weeks and that's it. But maybe now we've taught him a bit how to play. How do I space? How do I attack the zone? So now we can just play basketball. Right? Which I hope is what we're trying to get him to do. Okay? All too often, coaches have to spend so much time putting in your press break, your end outs, your side out, your zono, your mano, your four quick hitters, all that stuff. Well, when do you work on pivoting and passing and catching? Well, you don't because you put in all that other garbage. Right? Teach them how to play and we don't get to that point. Okay? I'll tell you one funny zone story. We got a three seconds. Stop that. Stop that timer. Was uh, when the, the second year I was lucky enough to do national team, we were at world championships. And just to go to show you how <coughs> my first point was putting people where they can be successful, right? And like your best player, your best shooter is here, your best passer is here, whatever. Figure out where your skills are and don't allow them to play positions, but put them where they can be successful. <coughs> so Team USA, this was their zone offense because no one in the tournament could guard them because they're all better athletes than everyone except we were close. We had Anthony Bennett and Andrew Wiggins, so we were close. But, so this was their zone offense. Teams play 2-3 zone. They had a kid named Quinn Cook. Here was their point guard. He's the starting point guard at Duke. They had a kid named Bradley Beal on the wing. He plays for the Wizards now, I think, right? He was like number three overall pick. I can't remember some stud here. It was ridiculous. Then they put Michael Kidd Gilchrist here. It's the number two overall pick. And they put Andre Drummond here. Well, I don't know what Drummond was, a five pick stud athlete. You know what they did? So on this side of the zone, they got Bradley Beal, who was shooting it, by the way, from here, and hit 50% for the tournament, I believe, from here. Okay? And Andre Drummond, six foot 11 guy, who all he can do, he has no skill. All he can do is put his elbows on the rim. Terrible, eh? That's all he can do, right? And they would just swing the ball. And when the wing got it here, the offside wing in the zone had two choices. Either play in front of Andre Drummond, and they'd skip it to Bradley Beal for a three out there. Or play on this side so you can get to Bradley Beal and they would throw it at the top of the backboard and Drummond would dunk it. Why, wait a minute. Why aren't you guys all writing that down? What do you, you should be scribbling that. That's a, that's a great zone offense, isn't it? Well, we don't have those guys, right? So in the meantime, we've got to teach people how to play a little bit, right? To teach people how to attack, how to space, how to move the ball, okay? How to play basketball a little bit. That's kind of what we're going for, okay? Anyways, um, I have this, by the way. I printed off, started to print off notes, and I asked Adam, well, how many people are registered for the clinic? He said 350 or something. Then I realized, okay, these are like 10 pages each. That's 3,000 copies. And I looked at my budget, and uh, yeah. So, so people were really keen. I got about 50 here of everything I did here, but more stuff I did here. And then Adam is going to email it all out to everybody anyways.